I'm we might, panicking. We, we might miss our flight. This is what always happens. They started boarding five minutes ago to Italy. We made it. We have not made it yet. <laughs> we made it. We caught maybe a hundred people to get here. All right, whose fault was it that y'all almost missed the flight? Oh yeah, you know, I don't remember faults. I don't, love keeps no track of wrongs. So I don't uh, need to put the blame on anyone. The point is we made the flight. Let's take a wild guess. When I take flights by myself, I am typically on time. I'm, I'm early. And when I take flights with Ben, he does that. We got plenty of time. He was reading a book before our flight to Italy. We were supposed to leave at 3.30, but at 2.30 he was in the bed reading. I was like, Ben, we should probably hit the road now. So I don't uh, need to put the blame on anyone, not on Amber, not on myself. Okay, we just landed in Rome. There's like a calmness to the airport that I'm loving right now. Maybe it's because it's just the morning, but no one's rushing, no one's running. We land and it's been about nine hours and we're waiting for my bag and I receive an email pretty basically as soon as we land and saying that, hey, sorry your bag didn't make it as if it missed the flight, which it did. As if my bag was like, I'm gonna get some Starbucks before I jump on this plane type of thing. So, how does it feel to be a bad bitch? That your, your bag is lost. You can't be a bad bitch without your bag. Bagless, bagless bad bitch. That's what we're gonna call myself. That bagless bad bitch. So, I was pretty upset until I realized that they just gave me a shopping spree. I ended up discovering that airlines will cover up a certain expense. I was able to buy like boxers and socks and basically a bunch of new clothes. You know, shorts. It was amazing. Be honest, describe your very first pasta that you ate in Rome right next to the Airbnb. Oh yeah, I had one of the worst food experiences the moment we sat down at this you know, whatever restaurant. You have to look at the reviews and this place was absolutely disgusting. You know, it really wasn't that bad. They put out these like stupid cardboard like, signs on this stylus type of thing, like for a painter. It is a huge red flag. You know, it wasn't what we expected in the land where pasta was invented, but it really like, it wasn't horrible. <laughs> Out of breath from the stairs. Oh my gosh. So cute. Kitchen area. Oh my gosh. This is insane. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, this is so grand. Let's go see Jason's room. <laughs> Bay Sheldon. OMG. Bonjour. No. What? How, wait, what? When? No. There he is. Hey. Ciao. Some real prosciutto. I have to say it's their puff ball, you know, in, into the night. Then got too fresh. They had some like fun little bread. Ooh, that's lunch. A little snacky snack. So what is this fetish that you have with sardines? Because it's sort of a fetish. It's not a fetish. My preferred flavor profile is salt. Maybe uh, healthcare will come back to haunt me in that regard at some point. But I love salt, I love fish. It's my favorite protein. I had to walk away, it smelled so bad. Delicious. My goal is to eat sardines at every country. You never look like that when you are around me. Fantastic. Cool. I love this temperature. Oh yeah, this is like the best temperature. To me, Rome is this wonderful smashing of realities. The ancient architecture merged with the modern architecture. And it's a, it's a city that you just need to walk everywhere. Vacation should be 
the antithesis of everyday life. So the first day we get there, I wanted to check out this museum. So in the way that life is about the hustle and the bustle and the go, 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 vacation should be about slowing down, taking your time. Yeah, so my dream vacation is when the steps on your watch says that you've hit, you know, 20,000 steps. All I wanna do on vacation is sleep, eat, maybe do a little bit of nightlife. If you're not walking 10 miles a day on a vacation, you're not doing it right. Why would I be working out? Mom, they're making fun of me again. I wanted to check out this museum. It's of these ancient baths. It was so stunning, uh, 2,000 years old. And it just makes you realize how insignificant you are. And I'd like to feel that in my vacation. I should saunter into cafes and restaurants. I should be indulging in rich food. That's how I learned the story of a country that I'm going to visit, right? You seen one penis, you seen them all. Where's the pizza? And Amber, you know, she she would like to take a nap in Rome, in Paris. Like, she just wants to travel places so she can take longer naps to broaden her horizons and to her increase her steps from, you know, 500 steps a day, which is getting up from the bed, going to the fridge for a snack, going back to that 20,000 step. That is what it means to be a supportive husband. If you enjoyed this episode, please continue to watch the other nine days of us exploring in Italy. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all on day two.